Hey there friends, we're here looking at this TCL 55 inch flat screen TV. It's a smart TV. And basically my wife turned on the other day, heard a loud popping noise, and now the TV won't power on. This little power light down here will not come on. Obviously the TV will not turn on. So there are multiple problems that could exist. Today we're gonna look at one possible fix and that is replacing the power supply board. It's actually a pretty simple process and we're gonna walk you through it right now. Okay, so as you can see, I've got the TCL on its face with a tablecloth cover on my kitchen table. This is just a nice big space to work on this. If you have a workbench, again, remember just to place some sort of a towel, a screen protector, something to make sure the bottom of the screen when it's laid like this does not uh, basically harm the screen in any way. Once you have the screen kind of placed in this position so we can access our back panel here, you're also gonna to need to remove the two uh, feet that actually come in right here. If you can see that panel, there's two screws that hold the feet on. If you haven't already removed this, then you need to remove that foot as well as the mirrored one on the other side right here with the two screws that's gonna to need to pull out. Last thing we're gonna to need to do is make sure we remove the power cord if you haven't already done that as well. Okay, here is our new board. Again, make sure you really do a good job of protecting this. We ordered ours off of eBay. You can also order these off of Amazon. Again, if we can find links, we'll put them in the description box below. But basically, you're going to need to take note first of the model TV that you have. So as you can see on the back down here, our model number is there. We've got the 55S403. Power supply boards are going to be very different between these models of TCL TVs. Some of them are the same. Even with larger size TVs, some of them can be the same, but again, you really need to match up your model number. The other thing you can look for is after you remove this back panel, take a look at the serial numbers and the model numbers on the actual power supply board. That again will help. Third thing you can do is look at the layout of the board. It's actually going to be sitting in the TV just like this with the power cord on the outside. If you can find a picture that looks exactly like this on eBay or maybe uh, somewhere else where you're purchasing this board, then you'll know you'll be able to match things up. Again, the most important thing is the screws on the outside are able to fit onto the mounting brackets that are already inside here. You wanna make sure those match and you don't have something that's all wonky. Now, this is a cool feature about the TCL TVs is they just have this one back panel that stretches clear across that covers all the essential boards, including the power supply board, which is on this side of the TV. It's located right underneath here. So in order to get this and replace the board, we're actually only gonna need one tool, and that is a screwdriver. You can see I've got a nice uh, pointed end on mine, a Phillips head screwdriver. And basically that's gonna enable us to get all the screws out and replace the board. So again, there's a lot of different screws in here. Don't worry about these tiny screws that are all the way on the outside of the TV. We're not gonna be replacing LED strips or anything like that. We're simply going after the power supply board underneath this panel. As you can see, it's kind of elevated. Okay, now comes the tedious part with removing this back panel. Basically, you're gonna to have to remove all of the little screws that hold it to the backing of the TV. You can see I've already removed a handful of these. You're gonna have a couple of these really small ones. Most of them are gonna look just like this. And basically, you can see there's tons and there's still more in here. So I'm just gonna go along the edge and you're gonna look for this symbol right here. Remember, you're only getting the screws that are attached to this specific piece of the plastic. So here, 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 don't forget these little corners right here, and here, here, down below where it attaches, down here, again, it just goes all the way around. You basically just need to make sure that as you're trying to pull this cover off, you're not yanking, because again, you may have missed one of these little guys at some point. Take your time, take your screwdriver, and really go around. Just make sure you can get down in there. You have a nice clean tip on the end, and obviously you can just remove them just like that. Now, one other thing to note uh, when removing, because you're gonna need to remember these type of screws for this specific placement here. On the bottom by the light, we've got two screws that have a pointed tip here. They just designed just a little bit different, and those are gonna slot down into here and to here. Hopefully you can see that with the light. Those guys are where they go. Again, more important when you're placing everything back together. 
Okay, so now that we've removed all of the screws for this backing plate, do not go ripping this thing off as quick as you can. And I'll show you why. So as I gently remove this, I'm just gonna slowly kind of pry up. It may just need a little bit of jiggling. And as I lift this up, as you can see, we've got a cable that's connected from this backing plate all the way down into our main control board over here. It's this first guy, this first white piece right here. So again, if you just go and rip this thing up, you're gonna yank this cable out and potentially damage some things. So basically you're just gonna gently slide this guy out, use a little bit of pressure. You can see it just kind of pulls right out. It's not super clipped in or anything. And that needs to be disconnected before you can just rip this thing out. Now that we've removed that, we can gently pull this thing off. And as you can see, we've now revealed all of our boards. So now that we are able to see the power supply, basically we've got four screws that hold it in, one on each of these corners right here. Those need to be removed. Again, you can just use a screwdriver. They loosen up here, pull those out. And then we need to remove these two cables that connect to the other boards here. You can see them running all the way over to the main control board and then one here that goes into the front of the TV. So again, these just have little clips on the front that you can pull up and then these just pull straight out. Same thing with the red, they can just pull out just like that. And then we're ready to take the board and remove it off. Okay, so it's now time to install our new power supply. We picked this one up on eBay, as you can see. Again, this may be available on Amazon. We'll put a link in the description box below if we can link to that. All right, so basically what we're gonna do is just place it right back in the same configuration as we took it off. Here's the configuration again, if you need a reminder. Basically, the power supply has to be reached from this side of the TV. So you're gonna place that in the upper left-hand corner. You should see the large silver heat sinks down here at the bottom. Okay, remember to get the four screws back in in each of the corners. And then two more on this side to tighten down. And then lastly, we just need to connect these cables back up. So again, white to white, push that in there. You should hear a click. And then red cable, same thing. You're gonna push in here until you hear the click. Okay, at this point, you also may want to look at the tape that's kind of holding the routing together. Sometimes this gets kind of loose and messed up. You can retape it with some electrical tape if you want. It's not super critical. It just kind of keeps things from kind of moving and shifting around. Uh, but again, that is about it. That's how, again, you replace the power supply board if this is the problem. Again, we'll put some links in the description box below. Make sure, as always, that you're purchasing the correct board. You can look at the serial numbers here. You also need to make sure you look at your TV model. There you go, friends. We're gonna reverse this now. Obviously put the back on to the TV again, put the stands back in, and then we should be ready to fire it up. Okay, there you go, friends. As you can see, the TV is powered back on and working. So this was in fact a fix for us. Power supply board was bad and we were able to replace it again for right around 50 bucks. So that's a lot cheaper than purchasing a new TV. Again, this may not be your problem, but it is a great place to start. I hope this has helped. If it has, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, and stay tuned because we're making a bunch more of these TCL tutorial fixes. Those will be coming up soon and we'll see you again on the next one.